Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you probably the biggest Bath and Body Works empties that I have had in a good long while. I finished so many body care items, it's insane. So I recently um, updated on my Project Use It Up update, so I will link that above if you have not seen any of that. But I want to get started and jump into all the empties that I finished this month. So I'll start with probably the most boring one. I finished one pocket back in Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I liked this one. It's super creamy, um, bakery, kind of like summer boardwalk type scent. It was definitely nice. I am not too picky about my pocket backs. I like them mainly to be like really fruity and fresh smelling. Um, so this one was okay. T two shower items. So I finished the Amber and Argon Sugar Scrub. So this is the body scrub that I was currently using. And basically the only time um, that I really use scrub is on my legs. So I've been trying to use a body scrub um, before I shave my legs every time just to really raise the hair follicles, get a closer shave, and just leave my legs even softer and smoother. And so I think this was definitely good for that. I definitely can tell that there's more in the package here, but the way that this packaging is and the consistency of this scrub, I can't get it anymore out. So I got use out of it. I probably paid like four bucks for this. I'm sure I got this for 75% off. So um, I like Bath & Body Works scrubs. I will buy them when they are on sale at the SAS. I also finished the Creamy Body Wash and Spiced Pumpkin Cider. I love Bath & Body Works Creamy Body Washes. You can get them pretty cheap at SAS's normally, and I find that they are more moisturizing than their original shower gels. However, their shower gel formula has definitely stepped up its game over the years, and it's much more moisturizing and hydrating now than it used to be. But I still prefer these when I can get them really inexpensively. This scent, as it say, is heirloom pumpkin, royal cinnamon, apple cider, roasted tonka bean, and spun sugar. Not care for this scent. Um, I reviewed this whole line actually when it came out, and I didn't really care for the scent then. But when this was so cheap, I thought, oh, I'll you know pick one up. You know, I'm sure the scent is decent enough, and it was. It was a decent enough scent. But to me, this definitely did have a pumpkin cider scent but it was very perfumey. It was like a perfumey pumpkin cider and that just wasn't quite what I was looking for. It was very body care-esque and I wanted to smell like pumpkin cider. Like <laughs> some people don't want to smell like food. Like I will smell like food. I'm okay with it. So creamy body washes, definitely recommend. This scent is not for me. I wouldn't repurchase it finished slash am finishing in the next like two or three days so I'm going to include it um a fine fragrance mist in marshmallow pumpkin latte so I had so little left I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see there you go because of all the <laughs> leaves around the bottom of the packaging but I had so um little of this left that I wanted to throw it in here because I'm definitely going to have it finished really really soon this is lovely, you guys. This is my favorite fall scent. Um, I only had, I don't know, maybe half of this or so to start. I think that I had used the other half the previous fall. And honestly, that was the perfect amount because a scent like this is really, really great for a while. It can get overwhelming and overpowering fast. Um, it's a scent that I really crave once fall starts, but after a month or so, I'm kind of over it and I'm ready to move on to something else. And so only using half of this body spray was actually just the perfect amount. So I'm really hoping that I can find a fine fragrance mist of this at the semi-annual sale and I can use it over the next, you know, maybe two falls because I thought that was just like the perfect split. Um, so I did finish that and I would definitely repurchase this. I have three Ultra Shea body creams. I can't even believe I finished this many. So I did finish the corresponding Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte body cream. So the fragrance notes are Pumpkin Latte, Toasted Marshmallow, Creamy Sandalwood, and Praline Musk. I get like a pumpkin um, bakery sandalwood vanilla type scent. Don't It doesn't smell like a latte. There's no coffee or anything. I don't really get marshmallow. It is truly just a creamy, um, pumpkin-y, sandalwood type scent. 
I actually prefer the scent in the Ultra Shade Body Cream more than the Fine Fragrance Mist. This smells more like pumpkin-y to me than this one does. This smells, I mean, very, very similar, but maybe a little bit more vanilla-y. I just get so much more of like the bakery pumpkin type note in this that I don't get in the Fine Fragrance Mist, but I would definitely repurchase this. It smells so good. I remember when this first came out and I was like, why would I want to smell like a marshmallow pumpkin latte? And I picked it up that first year and I've been obsessed ever since. So I was proven wrong. <laughs> Next I moved on to pumpkin picking and I finished that as well. And I reviewed this whole line too, so I will link that above. But this is inspired by Pumpkin pie and nutmeg dusted lattes, warm afternoon sunshine, blankets the farm. The hayride wagon is hitched up, so hop on. It's pumpkin picking time again. Cinnamon spice cider, fresh pumpkin pie, and hayrides to the patch. This was a cinnamon spicy, cinnamon sugar with some spice pumpkin scent. This is fantastic. I absolutely loved this, and I recently... In my last Bath and Body Works haul, I picked up a fine fragrance mist of this for half off, I believe. Um, they didn't have any other form of this, but I really hope that this scent comes back because this was such a good one. With the way Bath and Body Works is, though, I'm really not holding out any hope that this will come back. Um, they seem to stick with their few fall scents, and that's fine and dandy, but I would love if like this came back, if Golden Parent Brown Sugar, I would die over to have more of that scent. And the salted caramel apricot was really good. There was just so many like one hit wonders that we've never seen again that I would love for them to bring back. And for me, this was one of them. This one was so good. And then the last one was sweater weather. So this was a pretty controversial one, but I'm glad I kept it. I'm glad I used it and gotten, you know, a good idea about it. So this says it is inspired by golden, golden autumn leaves bright blue skies and crisp apple slices. It says, bright blue skies with clouds of cotton, cool winds rustle golden autumn leaves. The apple orchard welcomes you with open arms. Sweater weather is here again. As much as I wish that they would have had like the scent notes for real on this packaging, I kind of love those little blurbs in the back. It's fantastic marketing because it just puts you into a mood. It invites you into like a scene and it just it, it's just warming it's like heartwarming you know to like think about like apple picking with your family or pumpkin patches or, you know it's just kind of like really I don't know it just sets the scene and so I really actually enjoyed that I wish they would do that for all of them um anyway marketing aside this scent to me it was really controversial because it didn't smell exactly like sweater weather and honestly to me it smells pretty dang similar Does it smell 100%? No, it doesn't. But there are a lot of similarities and I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was so different for me because it was so much more cleaner, more cologne-y. Um, a lot of people were saying it smelled a lot like orchard leaves and blue skies. And I could definitely see that. I definitely get the hints of resemblance 100%. Um, but to me, this smelled a lot like sweater weather and I really did enjoy it. And so I think if, you know, you were on the fence about it, I think it was worth picking up and giving it a try. I have a hand lotion of it. That's probably enough, you know, at least for a while, but maybe if this ever came out again in the future, I would pick it up again just to kind of, um, get out of my norm. Like I said, that's not my norm. More, you know, these <laughs> type scents, super sweet type scents are more my thing. But that is everything. So how many empties is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven body care empties. I am really impressed with myself. You guys are probably like, please, that is chump change. But I'm, I'm really excited that I was able to move seven items out of my collection this month. So that is everything I have to share with you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.